Hey YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little video where our first time we're gonna be free flying Scarlet, my Macaw, from a perch back to my hand. So she learned to free fly back and forth to me. Uh, she's on a creance and I'm feeding her the baby formula on, for a breakfast. Um, so I'm be putting it there, calling it to my hand. And this is the first time she's ever done it outdoors, she's done it inside. So she's looking and she's flying back. As you can see, she's doing a very, very good job. And when she comes, I just put a little bit of the food in her mouth. Not too much so she gets fed too quickly. Walk her back in the beginning. And put her back on the perch and do the same thing again. Go a little distance and you whistle and just call her to come to you. Every time she comes, she will get a little bit of food. And slowly, slowly, you will be able to increase the distance. As you can see, guys, so far it's looking brilliant. She gets a kiss and she gets a little bit of food. We will be slowly be increasing the distance. But you don't want to do this all in one day. You don't want to do this one day because the bird will get confused and things will go wrong. So just take your time. It's about surely but slowly getting to there. No. And you can see the bird is enjoying it. There's so much thing happening in the background as well. You've got birds flying in the background and everything else. You can see no, she's still it. doing really, really good. And there she comes. I'm really, really happy. This is the first time, guys. She's never done this outdoors. She's done it in the house. But outdoors, completely different things. So, like I said, I have it on a Korean. So, if anything did go wrong, so guys, this is her first free flight, as you can see. Away. It's about. 28 to 30 foot feet away and she's been really really good i'm not gonna rush it's gonna take my time so we'll just be repeating this until she gets her full fed and what would be really good to use would be would have been a nice um small treat something that they really love but um this is a breakfast so i know she's been hungry first thing in the morning she's really really hungry and i know she loves uh, in the breakfast so far, it's working really good. Hey. Yeah, man. Just do the same thing until so the whole food is gone. And then we do it every day, slowly, slowly, increase the distance. The Come bird on. will understand what you're trying to get to. She comes to your hands, she gets fed. And she will know the garden area. As you can see, she's taking her time Come now. On. And she's just flown onto. Evening. She's a bit full, and as you can see, she's flown to her. Avery, what I should be using really is a um, small treat. This is a formula which I feed her every morning. So I thought she would go for this because she's really hungry, which she did, which I think helped a lot. So she will come the big distance. Come on, Scarlett. That's what we love, you know, she can fly down to my hand as you know this is one of the things they have a bit of problem is flying down they can always fly up come on when they new flyers come on check Scarlett so what we need to do is find out her favorite treat now so that we can test it on that and as you can see there's so much going on up here I got the pigeons flying around got the crows at the top so much noise and sound oh, you go There she goes, you see She tried to fly to my hand and the string was a bit short. So I just pulled her down a little bit. We're just going to see where she is now. Got it! So this is all in the beginning. This is all about learning, training. There she is, come on! Come on, baby, come on! Come on! And that's the thing about having the creance is that um, they can't go too far. Uh. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, then. Let's get this phone like this somewhere. She 
he's high up there, sitting around, looking around. That's a good thing, you can see she's not spooked, she's not trying to fly away. What she did is when I um, walked away, she thought, oh, I'm going to wait for me. When I walk away, I notice she always follows me. So she tried to fly to me, obviously, the creams, which is the and this string which is attached to her harness to stop her flying away too far got caught and snagged her so sh she couldn't reach me and she landed on the shed which is good all this is all good all this is also training she gets to see the area she gets to see the garden she gets used to the area as you can see she's looking at me Machine trying to fly you in a way. Just gonna make sure the cable what I'm gonna do up here, I'm gonna release that crane a little bit more so she has a little bit of more room to fly around. This has just been tangled around. I'm just gonna send this over this wire here. Yeah. Take this off. See, got snagged onto that. I'm just gonna open that up here. As you can see, the parrot just sat there. It's not bothered. It's not flying away. It's not trying to go nowhere. She's just chilling in the garden. And this is one of the things I really wanted her to do. So when I'm in the garden in the summer, I want her to be chilling out there, flying around, come back, go into a house, so she'll be seeing all this area. So I'm gonna use this little stick just to get this off. There we go. All done. You need a lot of patience with this, guys. Um, this is the first time. And anything you do indoors, you really, if you go outdoor, it's like completely new. Outdoor is like completely something all new. So we'll just keep on trying now. And you can see she's nodding. She's trying her best. She's trying her best. She's trying to walk down. She's thinking about it. Also, the formula which I'm feeding her actually is um, when they eat, they get very, they get fed very quickly, and they, it does make them a little bit like lazyish, if you know what I mean. It's just gone to a I don't want to go too close to her. So um, she thinks, might try find a favorite treat for something what she really likes and do it. But I'm really, really happy with the progress. Everything is good. Come on. My hands out and keep on trying. Hello. Yeah, she goes instead of flying to my hand, she's tried to fly to the treehouse. Stand right here. So, the good thing about having the creams is. So she just tried to fly from there to the treehouse, which she knows and the string wasn't long enough. She landed on here. Come here, Kenzie. Why did you fly to me? Hmm? Anyway, I am really, really happy. She did really good. Right. Yeah, I'm going to